Uh, beloved divine friends and families, uh, this is part two in today's uh, presentation of In the Raw, RK's Guyana Free Media. I will accept any declaration without condition, Granger. President David Granger has said that he will accept any declaration of the chairman of the Guyana Elections Commission, which are justice towards SCCCH, and that such acceptance is not conditional. Once she declares it, he will accept it. He has accepted, but obviously um, a lot of his people are not happy with that, and they're trying to create a kind of a sabotage kind of atmosphere, my beloved divine friends and family. He was at the time responding to questions during the commissioning of the new infectious diseases hospital recently retrofitted out of the Ocean View Hotel property at Lillian Dahl, East Coast Demerara. Well, that is a different ballgame altogether. There's so much of Indonesian conspiracy and fraud and corruption with that hospital. Technically, one man behind it who is sapping the money out of that and taking the people's money for himself. It is known that he's a maniac for money and he has so many responsibilities in the form of families that he created that he has to spend so much of money and uh, taking it from our tax dollars, ladies and gentlemen. And that place, I think the government, the new government will have to establish a commission of inquiry into that. And they wanted to ensure, even though it's not ready yet, to declare it open so the other government taking power will not get any credit as they got credit for the East Coast Highway which was started in President Ramotar's time. I have no prejudices for anybody, but as a commentator, I have to speak the truth. Beloved, divine friends and families. To this he responded with respect after being asked the question. My statement and compliance with the declaration wasn't conditional. I didn't say if the rain is falling or the sun is shining. You know, if it comes today or by night, I'm obliged to observe the declaration of the chairman of the election commission. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, he better. He knows he has lost. Show class in the Caribbean and win the respect for the annals of history that you have been the first to concede that you lost an election in Guyana, Mr. President. Still the president. The national vote recount shows the Granger's co coalition has lost its bid for re-election to government. The party has staunchly opposed and frustrated a declaration on the basis of the recount results. And we know commentary, they have done so many things, friends and families, to bring down this country and to steal a nation. And to steal an election. In response, the international community in large sections of the Guyanese community have called on Granger to concede. Addressing his failure to concede, Granger reiterated an earlier statement which held that he cannot concede since no declaration has been made. I pay attention to what the popular media say. As far as the Gong Gong Soul is concerned, everybody knows. I have been saying over and over again that I will abide by the declaration by the Election Commission. You know, and I think he will. Because they have exhausted everything. As a tactician, um, with a mind of the military, he and his grouping has exhausted everything. There's nothing else they can do than maybe one court of appeal, Caribbean court of appeal chance anymore. But they have to remember res judicata. And if they go again, there will be more shame upon them. So he will have to accept because he has exhausted all possibilities and all opportunities. People can rightfully challenge a ruling if they disagree with it. Once the court has finally ruled, we will obey the ruling of the court. So technically, he's preparing us for a court, Caribbean Court of Appeal case, just in case, most likely. He said that the ground swell is not a legitimate statement of the law of the Constitution and that he will follow the Constitution and the court. I await the decision of the Commission. The President said, I cannot follow the ground swell. The majority of people 
locally or internationally. And my commentary is that he cannot listen to people. He will just follow what is technically the law. But technically, after he has exhausted all opportunity to create a mass rig and an attempt a test of a nation. I'm wondering, ladies and gentlemen, if the president had listened to some of the suggestions I had written to him, how to win friends and influence people, and I suggested read the book by Neil Carnegie, what would have happened if he had won, learned that technique and had fulfilled certain rights and privileges that certain people were entitled to, and that his warlord, the people that they were targeting to try to destroy with the five or six in the shadow cabinet, ladies and gentlemen. They could have won the election. It was only 10, uh, 15,000. They could have won the election. Some of us, a man like me, I'm just telling you for what it's worth. I got 10,000 followers, minimum 10,000. If I tell them to vote for this person, they vote. If I tell them vote for whom you want, they know I'm not supporting the government of the day, and they might still vote for something else against the government of the day. Mr. Warlord, uh, to put it in Guyanese parlor, I wanted to tell you, you, what I can tell you, you messed up. I can't use that word here in public, but if we meet privately, I will tell you. I spoke to you privately. I encourage you certain things. I wrote your letters, but you continue to deny. And you have lost the elections because of that hard-headedness. Mr. Warlord and President, Ranger for not listening to ordinary, simple, common man like me. I await the decision of the commission. The president said, I cannot follow the groundswell. Meanwhile, there was, uh, there's been talk of declaring a state of emergency, some of which was engaged in by the president himself, a former Guyanese politician, Paul Tennessee, had raised the concern that such a consideration would, in this context, function to consolidate dictatorship. Asked about this position yesterday, Granger said that he has not complete, contemplated the necess necessity for a state of emergency. Then you know what happens there? All of us are done. We are controlled on the road, in the street. Um, our privileges are curtailed. We are watched and commanded by soldiers. We can be picked up and locked up everywhere. You have to be home within a certain time. Military rule! And this is some of the, the wish of certain military people when they take power. All I'm saying is that over the last 20 weeks, I have insisted that once the chairman of the Elections Commission makes a declaration, I will comply with that declaration. I don't see how a state of emergency or the necessity for a state of emergency arises. But he did say it. He did mention it. That there was a possibility. This guy, this guy, even though he's a military man, yes, we know he's a kind of a tactician. The tact which has worked, but it has helped to delay and give him, what, one and a half year in the no confidence motion. Uh, so far, almost a half a year after the elections in power, as they're bleeding, as they're draining the finances of the country to leave the new government in financial quandary. Friends and family, brothers and sisters. He said that he's insisted on credibility, but he does not see what that has to do with a state of emergency, what credibility. The documents said quite clearly, the, the SARS and the, the SOPs, statement of polls, statement of recounts, amount of credible votes. So the, the, all that's on there is credible, and the non-credible one were the very few that is at the bottom. So stop playing with uh, things that are not too sensible and sung like the warlord. Uh, otherwise, the president has faced calls from more radical sections of the People's National Congress to cancel the election. He can cancel the election. He don't have that right. Or lights, he wants to become an international pariah and a criminal, despite the fact that he has no authority to do so. Asked about, the, about this during yesterday's briefing with the with the press, the president said that he's interested in having a declaration as early as possible by the chairman. I don't run the elections, he explained. And ladies and gentlemen, I have to go to page 15. Yes, he's saying that he doesn't run the elections, and that is true. 
but they were smartly manipulating the entire damn thing. The Chairman of the Commission and six commissioners will determine the outcome of this process. The Court of Appeal yesterday handed down a unanimous ruling. Dismissing an appeal and missing a Jones versus GCOM, which sought to set aside the results of the recon. And we know what that is all about, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm going to skip a few paragraphs. The coalition claims of fraud made during the recon have been extensively rebound. And I was there, ladies and gentlemen. I had to ask their agent that was there if they were paying their people in the field uh, as headhunters to find flaws because they're going around and they're asking questions but really they were creating it because I'm asking them you're raising 80, 90 or 100 cases and that going down you know as 100 and when you find they have about 3 or 2 or 1 and when you come when you investigate the persons voted according to proper documents and trying to pull wool in their supporters eyes because the supporters don't understand the supporters don't know what's going on there's a book called the folio which shows your face in a photograph your color of your skin your height your age where you live and everybody voting in their area people would know who and who are fraudulent their friends and family ladies and gentlemen so I'll just skip that paragraph again. He said the guy and his people will certainly examine in a more meticulous way the manner in which their justice system functions. So friends and family, think. Let's hope for the best for Guyana. Let's wish Guyana all prosperity and joy and success. In the raw, me, your brother and your friend, Haji Khan, saying thank you for tuning in and farewell, Frank.